Hi, I'm Sharon Spangler. Welcome to Reno TV. My guest is Dave I. Azzi. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Why is Art Town getting involved with the Lear Theater? I was really surprised to read that. Well, we've been talking with their board for, for the last few months. Um, they had sort of hit a, a, a brick wall into what to do there. Um, as we all know, I think that their plans kept changing and their executive director left. So they thought that if any organization could take it over, they thought Art Town would be the one to do it. And our board met uh, for many months and discussed whether we should do it or not. It's a very big challenge for us to do, and we decided to move forward. Why? What, what's the intention? Well, the intention would be to turn it probably back into its original um, incarnation, I'll say. We found three or four sets of plans that have been drawn up. Uh, but we're going to turn it into more of an arts and culture center than a theater. So people can be up there d doing little small plays uh, in the theater world, but also as a venue for maybe small TED Talks or guitar performances or stuff for kids to do. An, an arts and culture center as opposed to a theater. Well, that's interesting that you would say that because one of my biggest criticisms of what happened with the Lear Theater is I, I thought it stayed dark way too long and my daughter was in a program called Journey to the Center of the Arts. It was this wonderful program, summer program for kids and it was actually one of the her favorite things that she ever did because you know she was one of those kids that was in program after program during the summer and um, it was just such a shame that that they had to just stop it because they started on that construction and, and I could understand some of the improvements but it seemed like they made some improvements and then nothing happened and it just sat there and it could have been used. Yeah, the board has changed over uh, a long period of time so it's not the same board as originally who voted to, to um, give it to the to Art Town but they have done a lot of work on the inside it's not like it just sat there they uh, reinforced the building there's some steel beams in there they did the lead paint removal and some asbestos stuff and uh, so it, it didn't just sit there they've been doing some work which is why they had to close it and not do uh, any performances in there because it's just not ready for performances any anymore and so what happens do you get to take over whatever pot of money there might still be there uh, uh, and Bob Carroll in this room had an interview with the woman that was the CFO about a year ago and she said at the time that they were going for all these grant dollars. Is that something that Art Town will now pursue? We can still go after the grant dollars. They were going after historic tax credits which I'm not sure there's a market for those much in these times. There might be in the future. I don't know if there are now. Um, they don't have a lot of money that would also go over. It's not millions of dollars. It's less than fifty thousand dollars that would would come over. So there's there's the buildings themselves, which Art Town took possession of on December thirtieth of last year. So we own the buildings. There's still some contractual work to do that. What goes on inside the buildings, um, but it's basically we're starting from scratch. So did they leave you with a big bill? No, they paid everything off. Everything got, got paid off. So we're very happy about that. That's one of the reasons that our board decided to, to go for it. The other one was, um, I don't know if people know this, but there's the theater itself, the, ch the old church, but there's also an office building next door. And our town has had to move every two or three years. We've had to move offices. So it's worth it even just for our, us to have a permanent office in downtown. So that was very good for us to, to make that move. Is that the little brick building that's to the west? Yes. Okay. Yes, it used to be the Theater Coalition building, and so that will be the in probably after this year's Art Town in August. We'll probably be moving our offices, and that'll be the new permanent home of Art Town. And that's a great location because yes. it's so close to downtown, right, right by the park, and most of the activities that we do, it's right in the Arts District. Uh, so yeah, we're very happy about that. And so, will the board be the group that actually goes after the? the grants or whatever kind of fundraising effort that you're going to do, or are you going to be going out to the community and seeking uh, some sort of a committee to, to help you with your effort? Well, probably a little bit of all those things, um, depending. We're trying to refine now what it is that we want to do so we get a price tag on it. It's not going to be near this. I think the last number I heard was they were trying to raise $16 million. Uh, we're going to take a little bit different attitude and try to figure out what we can raise and say that's, that's a, uh, what we want to raise and here's what we can do for that amount of money. Um, they, they got tied up a little bit too I think in the times when things were really good. They thought that their property was worth a lot so they saying if we let's take advantage of this now and be more grandiose in our schemes and for a while there it looked like it would work out and it just didn't. So it's one of those things that just happened with with the times. It's a shame because it's a beautiful building. It is, it is. Um, it's uh, and in 2000 
13 is its 75th year of the, I saw that on the, on the cornerstone, so I'm shooting to have it open on the 75th year. Wow. We've been talking about Art Town and the, and the fact that Art Town has just taken over the Lear Theater and you, you've been involved with Art Town, wow, almost since its inception. Well, close to 10 years, maybe half its time. I think this is the 17th year. <laughs> 17th year. It's He's been started. involved. He might have just been going to the concerts, right, right. but, but you're, you're president of the board now. Correct. Yeah. How's that? Very good. I mean, we've got a, a great group of people on the board of directors, um, a lot of sponsors on there and business people, and our fundraising efforts have gone the same. We still have a really high, I think, a high caliber of what we bring to Reno. You know, our, one of our big goals is to bring people to Reno that people in Reno wouldn't normally get to see, like Yo-Yo Ma and Steve Martin's coming to town, and um, we've got some pretty interesting things lined up for this year, too, that I'm going to surprise you with later. What was it that made Art Town to uh, branch out from being a month-long event in July to doing the winter series? Well, we call that the Encore series, and that came out because of a couple of reasons. One was the economy, um, but two is because, honestly, I think we were doing a very good job bringing in a lot of free, high-quality events. So people weren't willing to pay, really, for our events in July because we were bringing in some really good things for free in the park. I mean, that's absolutely, absolutely. I remember we, we had one group in there and some guy said he, he saw that same group in Miami, paid $75 to see him and he couldn't believe he was seeing it for free in the park. Wow. And so we've been able to escalate uh, who we've been bringing to town during that. Also, we have to take advantage of who's touring when. Not everyone tours in July. And a, a great example is Yo-Yo Ma, who's coming in April. You just can't say to someone that caliber, we've been chasing him and his agent for two or three years to come to Reno, that we need you in July. He says, no, I'm touring and I'll be available in April. So if we think that that's what people should be able to see in Reno, then that's when we have to branch out and, and offer those things. And how's that, that Encore series? Oh, v on? very good this year. It's been very, very um, well received. We're very happy with it, very pleased. Our town seems like it hasn't been impacted that dramatically by the downturn in the economy. Why do you think that is? Um, well, it has. Our fundraising efforts are, are difficult. But the thing that we do is um, we don't do all the events, just the events that we produce. We do the, the, uh, all the advertising for all of them. And most of the people we work with are local, so they also have given us better deals on things. So with the economy, we've been able to bring in the artists we bring in usually take less money than they were taking four years ago because it affects everyone. So that has helped us. I think Beth McMillan has done a great job in, in bringing great people in and keeping our sponsors uh, at the level that they've always been, been giving to Art Town. I think that's very important too. Um, and not overreaching our bounds, not overstepping what we've been doing. That's why taking over the theater was a very hard decision. Oh, I can imagine because that that's actually brick and mortar, and this is the first time Art Town's really had any brick and mortar. Correct. I just had to call, in fact, NV Energy today to transfer over the power, and wow. says, "You ever had an account with us? No, we haven't." So oh, it's wow. it's very difficult for us. But the the first question that we asked is, "This will never impact what we do in July." So it's going to be a sort of a separate arm of what Art Town does. Uh, and it's not going to affect, we're not going to take money from, that we raise for our July event and put it into this theater. It's going to have to be separate. But there will be some crossover because some events that have traditionally been in other places may use that facility and then it, it opens up a whole new venue for some other things to happen during the, four, you know, the month of July and uh, the rest of the year. And the rest of the year. We'd be programming that the whole year. The other key thing that we wanted to do is we didn't want to be in competition with anyone. So the size of that theater that we're shooting for depends on, on the city and what our capacity is going right. to be in there. We're trying to get something that's less than the Pioneer Theater and, and more than, than some smaller venues so that you can bring in a different size of, of performance that we don't have here. Not everyone reaches to the size of... Um, the Pioneer Theater. They just can't afford it. It's too big for them. They only bring in three or four hundred seats, which is what our hope is that we could have four hundred in the in this theater. Um, kind of on the lines of Reno Little Theater's new building. Sort yeah. of yes. Similar in that size. Well, they're a black box there. They're going to be smaller than that, I believe. I think they're shooting for off Broadway to have less than a hundred seats in there. Oh, wow. I believe that's what they're doing. Um, but I'm very, we're very excited. But we didn't want to be in competition with anyone. Everyone gives Art Town a black eye for that sometimes about too much competition. Um, 
but that was one of our key things. We don't want to we don't want to compete with casinos. We don't want to compete with other arts groups. We want this to be a middle of the road size theater that that someone at, like the Guitar Society and they perform in some of the churches, but they can't really say we're going to be here every Thursday. So, because they don't have a venue to do that. And that's what we're hoping to be able to program. Also, what's interesting for, for us is there isn't a place for kids to actually learn how to be an audience member. And that's one of the things we want to be able to bring is bring more kids shows here where it's okay to act up a little bit, but you learn how to, how to start calming here. down and, uh, and start knowing how to be an audience member. That's not something that just, you, it just comes to you. you have, that's a learned uh, response. A lot of people that are watching have been in the Lear Theater because they went to church there years ago when it was, a, what was it, Church of Religious First Science or Christian? Church Christ Science. Right, Christ Scientist. Science. And, um, and then so a lot of people really have not experienced the inside of that, and it really is a lovely building inside. It really is. They, they, it's a, they've taken all the pews out now. They're all gone. The balcony is still there, and they built part of the stage um, is there, but it's all still two-by-fours and raw wood. So it has to be looked at there, and there's no heating or ventilation in there yet. So that's another problem we have for summertime and wintertime. Wow. It's, it's exciting, though, because the Lear Theater is a really a, a key building in that whole uh, art town district that spreads, I think, what from the McKinley Arts and Culture Center all the way down to, I'm not sure really where it ends. Well, it's sort of the baseball district now. I mean, that's where art town is now. We're on the other side, and that in that tower over there, that's where our, on the, we're on the ground floor. But that's putting on my city council hat, I thought it was important. It's not necessarily the Art Town's board to do that, but from a city point of view, to, to not have that be a vacant parcel right. right there. But if you drive down around Riverside Drive, you'll see that there's a lot of people putting a lot of money into some old buildings there now. So they're being revamped. There's some uh, energy going into that area of town, which I think is very good. And, and I don't think people would want to spend a couple hundred thousand dollars redoing a building, and then right next door is this vacant building. So it's, it's part of the whole concept of, of trying to get everything renewed again. And you take advantage. I mean, people always like to complain about the economy, but you also get some better prices. And if you have money, it's the time to do stuff if you have money. There's always stuff going to happen in a down economy, and uh, we hope we can be able to, to do something also. Ambitious project. Wish yeah. a lot of luck. Thank you very much. The last time I was there was when I was uh, filming the March 4th marching band oh, yeah. for the opening night of our town right. when they came right down Riverside Drive. Yeah and pass the theater over and The to last the park. time I was in front was actually an Art Town event, I don't remember how many years ago, but Marcel Marceau did a performance That's at right. the El Dorado and then came and gave a, gave a spoken presentation at, that, at the Lear Theater, which I thought was very, very uh, interesting to see Marcel Marceau actually talking. Was, it was a very nice evening. Great. So anything else you want to say about Art Town? Uh, we're going to have another great year this year. We're, we're already firming up the, the schedule. We're ahead of last year a little bit. We've got a couple holes to fill. I think people are going to be very, very excited. It's going to be a little different than last year. We try to change it up every, every couple of years, but I think they'll be very happy this year. That's great. Well, we appreciate all your hard work with Art Town. My, I know you're, my pleasure. You're down there in the park like, almost every night or, or at some other venue in town. Uh, I will say one thing we also do is Bartley Ranch, and we're thinking about trying to put something on uh, – more of a donation thing to help Bartley Ranch come back from the fire. Um, the amphitheater was was not damaged, but the, the surrounding flora and uh, was was pretty beat up and burnt. So we're talking to the county now to see what we can do about uh, not adding a ticket charge on, but asking people to donate five dollars or something so they can get the the Bartley Ranch back up a, a little bit and uh, do our part to help out there. Oh, that's a great idea. If, if you haven't been to Bartley Ranch to see a concert, that's an, an incredible venue. It's just a perfect size. It's a very nice venue, yes. Well, thanks. You bet. And thank you all for joining us.